I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will take up a case where we have few essential items and few optional items and we will try to count the number of combinations possible. So we are taking a very popular example find the different types of pizza that you can make. Required items are bread, cheese and size of pizza and optional items are all the different kinds of toppings. So in this example, I've taken two types of breads, uh, one type of cheese and three types of sizes. On the optional side, the toppings could be pepperoni, mushrooms, onions, extra cheese, sausages, olives or peppers. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven toppings. Let me write down here a number seven. Now you have to figure out how many different types of pizzas can be prepared with such a combination. Here is my thought about it. When we say required or essential items, we could treat them as a pre-diagram. So we have two types of breads. Let's say uh, we have breads two types. Let me call here uh, breads, okay, let me say breads. So we have two types of breads on which a single type of cheese so this I took because of simplicity so that we don't really complicate it much uh, so let's say for any type we have only one type of cheese okay. and then we have three types of sizes so so three types of sizes means um, okay maybe medium large small whatever so we get so many branches so let's say uh, there are two types of breads we say uh, let's say wheat bread and uh, let's say corn okay and these are the two breads that is uh, cheese so that is only one option and here we have three types of sizes. Let's call them large, medium, small. Okay. So in all, you get one, two, three, four, five, six combinations. So, so we have breads, we have cheese, and then we have sizes. As you can see here, there are two types of breads one type of cheese and three types of sizes so the number of combinations are two times one times three which is six so without drawing tree diagram you could do it like this also right so because these are independent items one after the other we are taking we have to multiply them now the part is with these six items I could have any combination of options. I may not have any option. That is also an option. Do you see that? So let's look into options. If we consider pepperoni, that actually we may have it or we may not have it. So there are two options with pepperoni. As far as mushrooms are concerned, we may have it or we may not have it. For onions, we may have it, we may not have it. Cheese, we may have it, we may not have it. Sausages same thing right so so for all seven items we have two choices all seven items we have two choices and therefore as far as the options go now let's say options how many for each for each we have two to the power of seven choices since there are seven options got it two times two times two times two times two times two times two will give two to the power of seven choices and therefore the number of combinations will be product of these which is two times one times three times two to the power of optional items so that is how we are going to calculate combinations when we have combination of required and optional items right so it is two times three times let's say one times two to the power of seven which is 768. 
So we have this as 768. So that is the answer for the given question. I hope you have understood the method how we should treat optional items. So they could be treated as 2 to the power of n if we have n optional items, right? So here is a practice question for you, similar kind. My burger is a restaurant where you can create your own custom burger. How many different types of burgers can you make with following choices? Required and optional. For required, we have buns, five types, patty, seven types. Options, I have kept cheese, five types. Vegetables, seven types. Sausages, six types. Spices, four types. Now, what is the number of combinations which you can make? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, from the previous description, what we understand is that these required items are must. So, five types of buns, seven types of patties. So, we get five times seven, right? And each can go with cheese five types. So, those five types, we have actually two, two. You may have one type, we may not have the other type. So, let's count all these options. So, what is uh, five plus seven plus six plus four? So, that is 10, 17, 22. So there are 22 options, so we'll multiply this by 2 to the power of 22. Do you see that? We'll multiply this by 2 to the power of 22. So there are so many options in treating with optional cases. Do you see that? So that is the answer for us. So it is 5 times 7 times 2 to the power of 22. So let's calculate this. 5 times 7 times 2 to the power of 22. So it's going to be a huge number. So the answer is 1468 Correct. So <clears throat> when you are having options like this, you may select a type of cheese. You may not select that. So with every type, there are two. And 5 will give 2 to the power of 5. Multiplied by 2 to the power of 7 multiplied by 2 to the power of 6, multiplied by 2 to the power of 4, that is in all 2 to the power of 22. Do you understand how we get this formula? So, so it is times 2 to the power of n, where n is all these numbers combined together. So I hope you understand and appreciate how the dimensions change when we are working with optional items. Feel free to comment. Share your views, share my videos, and if you like, that'll be great. Thank you, and all the best.